Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix an error that is the Realtek Wi-Fi adapter is experiencing driver or hardware related problem. So if you are receiving this error message with one of these Realtek Wi-Fi adapter, then please follow the steps shown in this video. So the first step is to perform power cycle. To perform power cycle, go ahead and shut down your computer and then switch off your Wi-Fi router. And once you switch off your Wi-Fi router, go ahead and shut down your computer and then wait for a few seconds and then restart your just power on your Wi-Fi router and once all the lights are up and running you can go ahead and restart your computer and then try to connect to your Wi-Fi that should go ahead and fix the problem but still you're facing the problem then go ahead and update your Wi-Fi driver from device manager so open device manager make a right click on the start menu then click on device manager go to network adapters so here you can see network adapter and here you will find your realtek wireless card so in my case i have intel but in your case you will find your realtek wi-fi adapter over here so just make a right click on your wireless card and then click on update driver then click on search automatically for drivers and once the installation is done go ahead and restart your computer and then you can go ahead and try to connect to your Wi-Fi. Now still you are facing the problem then go ahead and uninstall your Wi-Fi device from device manager and then restart your computer. Again open device manager make a right click and then click on device manager and go to network adapter and then select your wireless card here you will see your Realtek wireless card and then make a right click on Realtek wireless card and then click on uninstall device and then Put a check on option which says delete the driver software for this device then click on uninstall. Now before you click on uninstall make sure that you have the password for your Wi-Fi network before you uninstall because after the restart when you try to connect it will be asking for your Wi-Fi password. So make sure that you have the password then click on uninstall and once the uninstall is done go ahead and restart your computer. So go to the start menu then click on the power icon then click on restart. Now during the system restart, the windows will install the default driver and then you can go ahead and try to connect to your Wi-Fi. So click on the Wi-Fi icon on the bottom right and then select your Wi-Fi network and then click on connect and this time it will be asking for the password. So enter the password. And that should go ahead and help you to connect successfully. Now still you are facing the problem, the last step is to install the wireless driver from your system manufacturer website. So for this you need to go online and then you go to the system manufacturer website. So if you have HP computer, go to HP website. If you have a Dell computer, go to Dell or if you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo website. So whatever is your brand, go to their website and then download and install the Wi-Fi driver. Now on this computer, the internet is not working so you, can, you cannot go online. In that case, you need an Ethernet cable. So you can go ahead and use the Ethernet cable which you can connect to the Ethernet port and then you can go online and then you can go ahead and go to the website and download and install the driver. Now in case uh, if you don't have an Ethernet cable or your computer does not have an Ethernet port, in that case you need to use another computer which has an internet connection. And then you need a USB flash drive which you will connect to the that computer and then you will go ahead and download the Wi-Fi driver to the USB flash drive and then you can go ahead and after you you know copy the file to the USB flash drive unplug the USB flash drive from that computer and then connect the USB flash drive to your faulty computer on which the internet is not working and then you can go ahead and install the wireless driver. Now for example I am showing for Dell computer so I have a Dell computer so in case if you have HP, Lenovo, Asus whatever is your brand go to their website select your model number and then go to drivers and download and find your wireless card driver. So make sure that you find the Realtek in here it shows Qualcomm but in your case you have to go ahead and find your Realtek wireless card driver and then click on download or you can simply make a right click on download and then click on save link as now this will open file explorer and then click on this PC then open your USB flash drive and then click on save and this will straight away download the driver to the USB flash drive and once the download is complete you can open file explorer and then go to your USB flash drive 
Now here you will find your USB. Here in the USB flash drive you will find your wireless driver. Now go ahead and disconnect your USB flash drive from here from this computer and connect it to the computer on which the internet is not working. Then open the USB flash drive and then you can double click on it and then install the wireless driver. So one of the steps should definitely help you to get your Wi-Fi working. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.